hello guys welcome back so in this video we'll be discussing how to do aggregate functions in uh, ETL so a simple query I'll just write a simple query so if you have watched my first video uh, I have actually processed a sa sample CSV data and sent that to database table into Postgres so this is the same data which I have sent this is the CSV data so this is the same CSV data which I have sent to my uh, to the Postgres table okay so here what we will do is we will actually perform a simple count operation and we'll see whether uh, we, are, we, are, we are having the same thing okay same output or not so how to do this in uh, talent so we have count is 2823 and uh, select star from CSV so run selection and we have sales so select some sales okay so sorry run selection oh there is something wrong select some sales there is no column like sales I think I need to add it something like this mm -hmm. line 3 some sales from sales data CSV uh, there is error yes select not sure okay this is the value which I'm having so we will even do some group by on this and make sure we have the same output okay select um, star from and so we will actually do this group by uh, motorcycle we have what kind of we have different product lines here we'll go with some basic things not too much so medium small okay so we'll use the deal size select deal size so D E A L deal S I Z D comma so select select deal size comma some sales from so and so table and group by okay deal size so we'll see what happens now so we have so many things so order by one okay so I think we will actually compare with two, two, three different type of values so that we should get the same output, okay, randomly. So order by one, uh, order by one is fine. So we'll get an alphabetical order. So we'll try to get the same kind of output uh, from our ETL job as well, okay. So I'll just go to my ETL. So I'll just remove this filter row. So if you watched my previous video, the previous video of this one, so I have done some filters using like status is not equal to shipped and product line is not equal to classic car. So if I process on this filter data, so I won't be getting the same output. Okay, so I'll just re remove this filter row and log row. So I have this T map. So in the T map, so if you just check here, uh, I only have. Uh, the deal size and sales so I I'm not interested in all other columns okay so I'll be only picking these two columns from in the team app processing okay so in the team app processing I'll just remove all of these things and I'll only pick oh, what's the column name Sorry. deal type uh, deal type and the sales deal type and sales so deal type and sales apply okay so here now uh, we have two columns now so we'll perform aggregations on this okay and uh, T will go with another uh, component called T aggregate row so just drag this to this so right click row and we're actually getting now this only these two columns 
to the aggregated row if you double click this aggregated row you can see here edit schema click on the edit schema you will have these two columns just move all of them at once and click ok now this t aggregate row is having these two columns if i just click on this place here you can see the sales has been added and other one so you won't have another thing getting added here so i'll just remove this sales from this okay so here you can see the left you have group by so in the group by what you're trying to do so it is very simple as your query so the which column you want to do the group by so deal size okay so i'm just using the group by as deal size and operation what kind of operation you want to do sales okay so you need to do the sums okay so i'll just scroll down this and click on add here so you can see sales and you have the function count just change this count to sum okay and the column column is sales okay now we will just try to check now so we are we are done with it so we have done the grouping and the sales so t i uh, will just go with the log rows log rows is still fine okay now here uh, i'll just go with the table output for the log row to make sure we have the structured data uh, perfect so i'll just save this job and run this we'll see what happens mm, run run okay so i have taken the deal size first and the sales so still this is not a problem yeah i think in our group we have the sales first and deal size second so it has come that way so make sure you move this upside down deal size and sales okay yes so we'll run this again mm, run okay now we'll randomly test some values here so we have a n n a anna with one five three nine nine six one three okay so for anna one five three nine nine six one three and we'll randomly check for small here so small is having one three eight seven four eight eight okay so in the tan for uh, what was that sorry small okay so small small very small okay so one three eight seven four eight eight point eight seven so you, you actually get the same things so the now what what you need to do is we're actually reducing the columns here if you see if i write count on top of this select count count star oh sorry from this table I didn't know this order but it's not required oh so you must have alias what okay t1 very small mistakes so we have just 41 so we have reduced from 1012 records to 41 records so if you actually go with the actual table you, this is having like 2000 records but after performing the aggregations so you are actually getting like uh, 40 41 records so when you work with millions of records so it is something like we are actually like we have decreased the value to like 10 uh, 5 percent or 6 percent so when you're working with millions of records so to increase the performance we actually do the aggregations within the etl so that we can simply write the select statement on the process data so that is the power of etl actually so that's it guys so i hope uh, you guys actually know how to perform aggregations now so so the simple thing is so you have to process here and instead of the t log row you can use some database table or any output format and send the data to it and do uh, uh, do some analytics or analysis on that kind of data so that kit that's it guys thank you for watching so in the next video we'll come with some different topic and etl so that's it for now thanks for watching